Hello you guys, so welcome back to my channel. So last night was my first night back at work after being on maternity leave for three and a half months and this is how it went. The entire day I was getting myself together to like basically get ready to leave and to leave Mimi and I started or routine at about 7.30. 7.30 I hopped in the shower and straight after that i gave her her little bath too because i'm like let me start it from early so by eight o'clock i'm gonna be giving her her bottle and from eight to nine i would be um you know feeding and burping her and like comforting her so she could go to sleep she ended up falling asleep halfway through the bottle at like early 8 8 15 or something like that she slept for 10 minutes and then she woke up and like ate the rest of drank the rest of her bottle okay fine she drank and she was just up for a little bit because remember she sat for 10 minutes and like that renewed her energy or something out of really now and so she was up so i'm like okay we're we're doing this you know we're here but of course because i started the bedtime routine from earlier i gave myself enough time so she was up and she was there for a little bit you know at this point i have my scrub pants on because i'm like the nanny is gonna come at like 9 50 because i gotta leave here by 10 the latest and then her dad doesn't get here until almost 12. So when she comes at 9.50, she's going to spend two hours and that's going to bring her to like um, 11.50. So, um, you know, I'm there with her, soothing her. She's about to fall asleep and the nanny calls me and she says she's downstairs. So I now put her down on the bed because I'm like, I don't want to go up and down the stairs with her. I'm going to have to stand at the door in like the cold air. So I put her down on the bed and that derails the entire thing. So I come back and like you know um because i know that she's already tired i handed her to the nanny and this is how to, i handed her to, to the nanny so i could finish getting dressed and stuff like that and this is how she was operating she's literally she knows i'm leaving i'm so stressed oh my god i gotta go yep you heard that right a girl was crying her little head off and my heart was breaking into tiny pieces that you need a microscope to see you hear me i was going through it and the nanny was like i don't think she's a problem i think it's you and i'm like i think so too i was she was crying and i'm ready to cry and i can't and i'm hiding from her it was a spectacle okay but i went to work and my social anxiety was really getting the best of me prior to going to work because i'm like oh my goodness they i love my job and i love my coworkers. i say this all the time but also i haven't seen them in three and a half months so i know that like i'm gonna have to go around and speak to like everybody individually here and there so you know I, I, that was throwing me off me and my social anxiety off okay but when i went it, it didn't even end up being that bad like i saw everybody at different periods throughout the night and they were like oh my gosh it's good to have you back how's the baby yada 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 you know you show them a baby picture too because everybody wants to see the little girl that they have been talking about for the last nine months when i was at work and literally i worked up to the day where i had this lady right i worked up to the day until i had this young lady right honey the day of that's crazy anyways last night was a very chill night outside of that it was very <laughs> not so much it wasn't very chill i ended up doing a one-to-one -one. i think i was a little bit nervous too about whether i'd still know how to do my job or not i don't know why i would feel like that because once i got there everything just felt natural i remembered how we do everything set up everything you know i was there doing everything like i typically would and that was great that gave me some comfort and that made me realize that my social anxiety and just me being anxious in my head was for nothing at all because i was perfectly fine hi sweetie so that part of it was very very reassuring last night i bathed her and washed her hair that's why she can't keep her eyes open too because once you bathe her she is out she's out like a light so her hair is out right now i need to put a bow on there but um yeah i went and everything came really naturally but i ended up doing a one-to-one -one and one of the ladies in there just decided that she wanted to walk around all night and walking around wouldn't have even been the issue but i gotta be watching her and she's not stable when she stands so now i have to leave the room with the other people who are also on one-to-one -one observation and walk around with her it was a whole situation i'll tell you that um it was just not not it so they gave her some hell doll and she went down after a fight a literal fight she was fighting the hell doll she was fighting us she was fighting 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 and i'm like dang not what i expected my first night back to be but you know we're rolling with the punches <laughs> feels like i was here yesterday 
it just felt really natural like I never left and I loved that that's how it feels but obviously as the week progresses because this is the weekend and it's my weekend so I'm used to my people who I work with on my weekend as the week progresses I'm going to be seeing everybody else tomorrow morning is going to be Monday morning and that means that I'm going to see the core of the morning shift that I hadn't seen in so long just all of it last night before I went to work I made sure that I took a recent picture like a video so I can show them what she looks like in real time this is right now this is today <laughs> it was so cute though that everybody was so concerned about little Mimi they wanted to see how different she looked and everything and most people are saying she start she's starting to look like me which is so cute because you know you carry them for nine months you want them to look like you right my love she definitely has my forehead and my eyes. Not my eyes. I think my eyebrows. Just this portion of her. This portion of her, I think, is me. Everything else, I think, is her dad. Does she have my nose? I don't think so. Maybe my mouth. But, you know, as she grows, we'll see who she looks like or if she just looks like herself. Bam, yeah. We're just here chilling. This morning, I came home from work. I know that I'm a little bit more dramatic than the average whatever my age is year old i completed one shift and it was great it felt normal it didn't feel like i missed three and a half months it felt like i was there the night before my baby is fine she's healthy safe and well sleeping in her crib and i'm gonna go shower and snuggle her i'm so excited i missed her she was still asleep she slept for about eight nine hours and so when I came home, I hopped in the shower really quickly. And then, you know, I put her bottle in the bottle warmer before I went in the shower. And so I was able to just go in there and snuggle with her. All she's looking for is the boob. Hi, girl. I missed you. And feed her she was so happy to see me and i missed her so much but she's typically a very happy girl in the mornings when she wake up i touch her a little back and then i pick her up and it's all smiles and it's the cutest thing ever right honey it's the cutest thing ever and so um i gave her her bottle we slept she slept for about two and a half hours i don't maybe i slept for two hours <laughs> and then you know i heard her she was making her way over to me because i put her in bed with me i told y'all extra snuggles and then um because i had her in bed with me she was just inching over to me every time i turned around she was closer to me and i'm like you know what i'm gonna feed her so i breastfed her and it was so blissful she was looking up in my face she was touching me it was so it was everything look at the placenta perm i can't seem to you know the back has just been okay now it doesn't look too straight but you know anyways we go back tonight her dad was off this more her dad is off today and tomorrow so i go back tonight and tomorrow and then i'm off tuesday so that's exciting not that i have anything exciting to do but you know yeah doesn't feel like anything different does not feel like anything different and i definitely know how to do my job last night i had to draw blood and it just felt it came naturally sweetie beauty i love the toes girl you are a workout a truly truly girl you guys she loves when you talk to her she loves a conversation i can't remember if i told you guys no i probably didn't i ended up putting my you part unit on because i do not want to have to deal with my hair because I don't know what the sleep situation is going to be like. Um, so I don't want to have to deal with my hair. I want it to be quick and easy and always ready to go. I don't want to be messing around, messing around with hair. Hi, sweetie. But yeah, right now I'm currently uploading some videos for y'all. And um, I fed her earlier and I thought she was going to go to sleep. And she slept for like five minutes and woke right back up. So I'm anticipating that when she goes to sleep right now, it's two minutes to 4 p.m., I'm anticipating that when she goes to sleep, she's going to sleep for at least three hours. Because at some point in the day, in the morning, she typically sleeps for around three hours. And in the afternoon, there's one time where she sleeps for around three hours too. And for me, that is perfect. But we're going to see. 
And if she wakes up, you know, obviously her dad, so I could get some sleep to go to work and be a functioning member of society. Can I? I need to remember to bring my coffee later because last night I forgot and I felt like, you know, I could have used it or whatever, but yeah, that's where we're at. Anyways, that's what it was like being back at work for my very first night. Um, it was a little bit different. Felt good to be in the scrubs again, to be outside doing what I love to do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.